Having sat down with Datadome CMO at last year's Black Hat, it was a pleasure to welcome Benjamin Barrier, co-founder and chief strategy officer to the show. The impact that Agentic AI is having on the internet and how Datadome are addressing the security issues is constantly evolving. I'm Oliver Legg, co-founder of Aspron Search. Enjoy the show. Well, it's a pleasure to welcome Benjamin Barrier, or BB, as you're uh, more commonly known, who is the co-founder and chief strategy officer of Bot a security company, Datadome. How's it going, BB? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Thank you for having me. I'm good. Coming acclimatized to the uh, the Vegas time difference and mm-hmm. uh, and heat. So uh, same here. Well, you come from France, I come from the UK, so uh, we're Pretty close. Uh, adjusting together. Yes, definitely. Um, but yeah, awesome to have you on. And I actually sat down with uh, Aureli. Um, That's right. Almost a year ago to this day at mm-hmm. Black Hat 2024. Um, and she's obviously given a really nice insight to Data Dome already. And it will be mm-hmm. interesting to hear, the, hear your take, A, being there from the very start, um, but then B, um, talking about the, uh, the uh, Agentic AI agents that have come along so far since my first conversation with Aureli. Um, so yeah, first of all, we'd love to just get a real high level on how did you end up at Datadome? And then we can come on to talking about what you're up to. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's a, yeah, that's, a, that's a pretty good story. I, mean, I think it's a pretty good story, actually. We, we had another company prior to Datadome um, based in France. And our mission was to do social media monitoring. I don't know if that rings any bell. But basically, our job was to listen to conversations online. So mm-hmm. we would scrape, we would crawl websites, uh, that was the beginning of Twitter back then, so very mm-hmm. early days, right? We would crawl forums, blogs, to understand how people were talking about specific brands. And our job was to let them brands, those brands know, sorry, how people were talking about their products or their overall brand reputation. And at the time, we were building bots to do that. And <clears throat> sorry, that company got acquired in 2014, if my memory serves, and we thought if our bots do not get stopped. There's probably much more malicious bots that do not get stopped either. And that's kind of how we came to building uh, Datadom. Mm-hmm. So in the early days, Datadom, when there was four of us uh, at the beginning, and in the early days, our mission was, well, it seems simple now, just detect automated traffic on the, on the internet. So now it's much more evolved, of course, and we, we'll get back to that. But that's, that's how we, we got to actually building Datadom. Yeah. Awesome. And I mean, you've had many different hats over the over the, the, the 10 years and happy 10 year anniversary as well for, for the company. Um, what what does chief strategy officer actually involve now? Mm. What, what What is in your remit? So, yeah, many hats. Uh, definitely. Uh, I did a lot of the sales stuff uh, back at the beginning, a um, bit of marketing, customer, uh, so many, many different, different things. I oversee three main things. I oversee the relationship with our investors uh, first. I oversee um, strategy as a whole, so market intelligence, product intelligence, customer intelligence, and also um, sales and revenue enablement. So how do we train the people internally to properly pitch data, dump the product, and sell the solution? Yeah, awesome. And really eager to obviously talk about the, the Agentic AI piece. and how that is actually changing, not just the risk and the use of what's going on in the internet and how people are actually interacting with the internet, um, but also how Datadome is, if anything, becoming a hell of a lot more important now than it was before. Mm. So eager to hear your take on that. You have a few hours? <laughs> Probably not. The okay. high, le- high level I'll, version. I'll give you the, uh, the short version then. Um, it's the, the agentic AI is the real revolution. Uh, we've talked a lot about Gen AI. Uh, it's been uh, a lot in the news uh, over the past maybe two years, I would say. But agentic AI is really going to change everything. There's been three stages in how we use the internet. At first, we would connect to a browser and visit websites. Mm-hmm. Then um, the iPhone and smartphones. Uh, gave way to uh, mobile apps. So that was the next stage. The AI agents are the new stage on, of how we are going to, we collectively are going to and are already using the, the internet. Um, it changes everything because um, there's no more bad bots and good human beings. That's, you know, that's, that's finished, it's done. Uh, 
Uh, now we have good human beings, so good, legitimate human beings actually using agents to do tasks on their behalf online. So our mission is to make sure that within the traffic of our customers, there's no fraudulent activity. Mm -hmm. And it was a lot about differentiating between bots, automated traffic, and uh, real human beings. It's no longer about that. Now we need to differentiate between a, human, a, a, a good human being, a legitimate human being using an AI agent, and mm -hmm. a fraudulent human being hijacking an AI agent. Mm -hmm. And to do that, there's two kind of uh, two, two options. The first one is to check identity, make sure that you are who you say you are, but uh, identity is proofable. Uh, you can take over an account. If you have an account on, a, on an e-commerce platform, someone could take over that account and pretend to be you. And are you referring to like captures and those sorts of texts? So captcha, it's a, uh, um, yeah, captcha is a good, actually it's a good conversation to have because for a very long time, captures were a good defense against automated traffic. In 2025, it's easier for an AI to pass a CAPTCHA than it is for a human being. Mm -hmm. So CAPTCHAs have literally become a pain in the backside for internet users, and they are useless at protecting websites because the AIs of the world have become better than us at passing CAPTCHA. And you actually, while we are on that topic, and I think that's one thing that you discussed with already a year ago, for a long time, we detected CAPTCHA farms. CAPTCHA farms mm -hmm. were human beings most of the time being paid a few cents to pass CAPTCHAs on behalf of bots. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, we have AI-powered CAPTCHA farms. So we have AI passing CAPTCHAs on behalf of other AIs. It's, it's, it's madness. So CAPTCHAs, they're, they're, they're a Obsolete, thing of the past. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Mm -hmm. So how are you doing it? How would you... Uh, how is Zadome actually checking that identity, confirming it is a legitimate human using an AI an tool agent, yeah. as opposed to an agentic AI tool being taken over or spoofed? So it's, it's, it's obviously very complex, but we detect intent, good intent and bad mm -hmm. intent. So we see all of the, the whole traffic hitting our customers' websites mobile applications, APIs, et cetera, et cetera. And we know how a legitimate users usually use their services. So what we detect is behavior that do not make sense, that are off compared to what we're used to seeing when it's linked mm -hmm. to, a, to, to a specific account, for instance. So it takes, there's a lot of, uh, I'm not the technical uh, person in the, in the company, but that we, have a, we have dozens of threat researchers working around the clock to make sure that they uh, use an update. So we also use AI, of course, to uh, combat uh, AI. And we use what we call, it's going to sound a bit, but multi-layered machine learning models, mm -hmm. which means that um, we don't only rely on one single AI model to defend all of our customers. Uh, and AI, it sounds magic when we say, you know, we use AI to, to defend, but it's actually, we use AI for very specific, uh, very specific types of attacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. And if I can add, and we, we need to do that in real time. So we make a decision on every request in less than two milliseconds. Because if you are, if you are using an agent to do, you know, Google, they've, they've announced uh, uh, AI uh, shoppers. I can't remember what they're called, but, you know, if you are using an agent to carry out some shopping on your behalf, you, wanna, mm. you don't want to have to wait, right? So we need to, make, to, we need to be able to take a decision very fast in real time to make sure that we allow these AI agents to uh, work properly. Yeah, and I remember um, some some of the stats that Aureli was talking about uh, this time last year were just mind blowing, mm. and the sheer volume of uh, and scale of of the use of these malicious bots is just in insane. It's insane. We we detect on 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 average, so the three on average, uh, fifteen thousand attacks per second. So mm. it's a never ending cat and mouse game with. Uh, fraudsters, really. Yeah. And the other thing Aurelie and I talked about, and uh, I know there's been some kind of significant progress on this in the last year as well, was the 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 analyst side of things. Um, and uh, she was obviously on the marketing side, so so put a lot of work into that. But there's been a lot of kind of evolve and, uh, involvement and progress in kind of how Forrester are actually recognizing you. So we're eager to hear what's changed in the last year on that front. 
Um, so yeah, Forrester recognized Datadom as a leader in the bot management category. So um, and we are working with uh, them, but other analysts as well. Uh, and I think Gartner, um, interestingly enough, they coined AI, oh well, um, uh, agentic AI, sorry, as a top tech trend of 2025. So they are evolving towards uh, and make, and they are including. Um, AI agent detection into how they appraise each solution and each vendor, definitely. There's something else that's coming up out of the, uh, the conversation that we have with analysts is, I see our work as, we, our mission is to break silos within the organizations that we defend. Um, a few years ago, people who were working on cybersecurity were only working on cybersecurity, and people who were working on business matters were only working on business matters. It's no longer the case anymore. And what we've seen over the past couple of years, and what we've certainly seen over the past 10 years, is that it's more and more of a teamwork, both between business and technical cybersecurity teams, but also within the security realm, we've seen a fusion between cybersecurity on one side protecting the infrastructure, and fraud, anti-fraud teams on the other, protecting mm -hmm. the business logics of the organization, protecting the customer's data. And we are designing a new category that's called cyber fraud that encompasses both of these approaches because it's the only way you can really be efficient. You need to have a holistic approach and uh, look at it from a, a, a unified kind of a perception. Yeah, that's, that's cool. And Bearing in mind the the risks that the Agentic AI has kind of created now, what what are the potential routes that that could go down in the future? I mean, where I, I guess I'm asking for your imagination to run a bit wild here, but what could be the scariest thing that we're facing next in the the, the, the bot space? Um, I mean, it's there's a lot of things that are changing, but we're already there. But there's so first of all, it's changing everything because um, first, there's a lot of, uh, there's traffic drop. I mean, the, the whole digital industry has to reinvent itself. Mm -hmm. If you are a new site, a media, you no, longer get the, you no longer get the traffic of people looking for information, right? That's crazy. People, the new, you know, ask ChatGPT is the new ask Google. Uh, I'm sure you've heard that with your friends and family mm -hmm. who are not particularly tech savvy. They, they go to ChatGPT now. So there's, uh, first of all, there's, we need to reinvent the industry. How do we measure traffic? We don't, it no longer makes sense to measure traffic. Um, second of all, we need, to, um, we need to make sure that we, you know, tomorrow people will be using AI agents without knowing that they are using AI agents. So I think the most complex thing that we have to do is anticipate the behaviors of internet users tomorrow so that we don't, um, we don't lag behind when it comes to detecting the fraudsters. It's, it's, I can't predict what's gonna be, uh, what fraud is gonna look like in New Year's time because it's changed so much over the course of 12 months and it was already changing before that. It's hard to come up with what's the next kind of big thing, mm -hmm. tech-wise, um, but detecting that intent is definitely something that we are very much focused on. Yeah, awesome. Well, hopefully, regardless of what uh, the adversaries come up with next, Data Dome are at the, the, the forefront of working out how mm. to protect us from it. Yeah. So, yeah, very much looking forward to, uh, to seeing what you guys have in, in store next. And, and we, uh, we're also working on opportunities for, because, you know, every threat has an opportunity, you know, two sides of the same, the same coin. But um, we are working on, uh, with our customers on trying to monetize these AI agents. So if you are... A media site to use the same example we are we've created partnerships with i'm going to call them marketplaces maybe that's not the right term but with uh, ai agent marketplaces so that if you are an e-commerce platform or a media you can charge these ai agents for using your content your services uh, in, a, in a smooth manner so we've built two very strong partnerships uh, mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's what's exciting as well. There's a threat, but there's also a lot of opportunities for this website to invent their, their business model. Yeah, awesome. Well, excited to see what comes next. And uh, yeah, we, uh, maybe we'll make it an annual black hat tradition between Datadome and, uh, and Cyberbytes. But you're, you're in one of the spaces where there really is such tremendous 
um, change every single year. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, all security goes through a lot, but particularly in this space. We so, never get bored. Yeah, we'll uh, sure. we'll keep it running. But BB, thank you so much for thank coming on. Thank you very on. much. And uh, it's been a pleasure. Cheers. Likewise, thank you.